the story begins and we notice four friends at a party. Among them was a girl named Gemma. They vowed to stay together forever and enjoy each other's company. Another friend of theirs comes and gives them drugs and the party begins. The boy takes a picture of the picture that was set up on the table in the meantime. His name was Felix. He actually likes Gemma but could never tell her. Meanwhile, Felix's friend arrives and asks him to tell Gemma that he loves her and wants to marry her. But Felix was quite scared and refuses to do it. Later, Felix's friend gives him the drugs. After getting drunk, he goes to Gemma and tells her I like you. He later says, I don't think of you that way. You are a good boy and you will find a good girl. Hearing this, Felix leaves after being heartbroken. Later, they all play a game called Truth or Dare. Speaking the truth after deciding on truth or acting after deciding on courage. Later, Gemma's boyfriend spins a bottle that stops at Felix. Later she asks if you have time to spend with a girl all day. Later she gives him a piece of paper and asks him to place it on the girl you want to pick. Felix goes and then puts the paper on Gemma. Looking at it, Gemma's boyfriend doesn't like it. Then he goes and barely punches Felix. Feeling humiliated as a result, Felix moves on. A few years later, Gemma and her friends are seen leaving for a party. It was Felix's birthday party that she invited them all to. Later, all her friends reach there and are happy to see each other after a long time. Looking around they find no one. Later they make a noise but no one comes there. Meanwhile, an old man arrives in a car and informs them. Felix is waiting for you all in his old house, which is located nearby. I'll drop you off there in my car Gemma's boyfriend declines saying no thanks. We would go for a walk instead. They finally arrived at Felix's old house on foot. There they meet Felix's brother and they all go inside. They are shocked to see that there is nothing like a party in the house. Later, Felix's brother comes and tells them that Felix is not there. Felix went to the city to fulfill an assignment. He wanted to come but because of the assignment he couldn't. I apologize for not informing you about this sooner. After these words he offers them wine. Shockingly, there was no bus, no station, no police station where they lived. Friend Gemma asks Felix's brother what are you doing? She tells him that I am in army and on leave these days. Everyone there was drunk except Gemma and her friend Jenny. Felix's friend says let's play with the balloon and Felix's brother says I have something better. Let's play truth or dare and Felix's brother spins the bottle and it stops at Jenny's. Picking up courage, she was asked to hug Gemma and she completed it. Later, he spins the bottle again, which stops at Gemma and she chooses the truth. Her boyfriend asks if she will marry me and she says no. Later, Felix's brother spins a bottle that stops at him and chooses the truth. Felix did not go beyond the city, but actually took his own life. But no one believes him and asks him not to joke. He says I'm not kidding, he hanged himself in this house. Killing yourself is a shame in our family, so we kept it a secret that Felix killed himself. Felix's friend asks, if Felix killed himself, why did you call us? Felix's brother says I want to know the truth about what happened that night. When you were playing truth and dare, something happened at that party two years ago. By pulling out a piece of paper and asking who sent this paper to Felix. This paper was found in his pocket, and has very immoral language for my brother. For this reason he took his own life and it is also written that the game of truth and dare is useless. When Gemma's friend heard this she says I don't understand anything and I go. Felix's brother stops his path and says you can't go anywhere. After these words, she attacks him and kills him. Later, Jenny attacks Felix's brother with a bottle and he slaps her. As a result, it falls. Later, pointing a gun at them, he says, you can't go anywhere. He shoots Gemma's friend in the leg and starts calling the police. Seeing this, he shoots his hand from the gun and injures himself. He ties everyone up with chairs, except for Felix's friend. He asks them to play the truth and dare again. He spins the bottle once more, and when he gets to Gemma, he chooses the truth. He asks her who do you think sent Felix that foul language letter. She says I don't know and he slaps her and asks again. She tells him the name of her best friend who proposed to Gemma. When Gemma's friend heard this, he clearly denied that he had sent it. Later, he spins the bottle and it lands on Gemma's injured friend, who chooses courage. To fulfill his dare, Felix's brother brings a table, on which he has two glasses, one with water and the other with acid. He lays Gemma down and then puts the pipe in her mouth. He asks Gemma's friend to pick one and Gemma's friend picks water. In this way, Gemma's life was saved. Later, Felix's brother spins the bottle and it stops at Jenny's. She chooses the truth and Felix's brother asks her to assign the test to one of her friends. She denies it, and Felix's brother says that if you don't assign anyone, you'll have to take a test. When she hears this, she becomes afraid and chooses Gemma's friend. He was laid down and a pipe was fixed in his mouth. He asks Gemma's injured friend to pick a glass, and when he does, Felix's brother starts it. He chose acid and Gemma's friend died brutally as a result. 
He spins the bottle again and meanwhile another friend of Gemma's arrives. Felix's brother goes there and asks him why he didn't come, you can come now. He replied, no, I will come at another time, I have work. Felix's brother attacks him and the man pokes his eye out. Later, after putting three bullets in the gun, he hands it to Felix's friend after turning it around and says, I'm not sure when the gun goes off and you fired it once at me and later at Felix's companion. He later pulls a gun on Gemma's friend. Unfortunately, he is hit by a bullet and dies. On the other side, Gemma opens her arms and runs. She came to the house where they were before and, but no one was there. He was lying on his bed because he was paralyzed and could only move his eyes and fingers. He says you have to enjoy it all. He watched where his brother was beating them because cameras were installed there. Felix watched it all. Later she asks on the phone. Because he likes her, he tells her. But it was useless because all connections were lost. Gemma gets upset about it all. He goes and asks Felix and finds out. Felix's condition is not because of the attempt on his life, but because of his brother. Meanwhile, an old man arrives and, after pointing a gun at Gemma, asks her to bend over. Gemma goes under the bed and points the blade at Felix's throat from the other side. Gemma asks the old man if you're going to put that gun away. I cut Felix's throat. When he hears this he puts the gun away. And it goes. Later, with Gemma holding the gun, she leaves, but an old man comes and attacks her. During all this the gun goes off and he dies. Meanwhile, Felix's brother arrives and begins to find Gemma in the house. On the other side, Jenny opens her hand and asks for the drug. When Felix's friend gives it to her, she cuts off his finger and separates it from his hand. He later beats her, but since her hands were open, she pushes him away. He falls after tripping his feet on the bottle. Later, Jenny frees herself and Gemma's friend. When Gemma spots him taking the gun, she shoots Felix's brother, but not a single shot hits him and he escapes. After killing Gemma, he brings Felix to the old house where Jenny and her boyfriend were. Felix's brother later returns to find Jenny and her friend on the loose. Jenny hits him with the pistol and the bullet hits him in the arm and he falls. When Jenny approaches him to shoot him, he stabs Jenny's arm with a knife, and she missed Jenny's target, pain racking her. But she manages to pull out the knife and Felix's brother starts choking her. She was supposed to die, but a friend stabbed his legs with a knife. Later, Jenny gets up and throws a container of acid at Felix's brother. As a result, he gets burned by one side, and after tying him up, Jenny asks her friend to go to the car. But her boyfriend couldn't walk, he crawled to the car. Finally, everything begins to reveal the truth, and she reveals everything. Many years ago when all our friends were playing a truth and dare game at a party. That night I sent that insulting letter to your brother about what you asked us. In addition, I recorded an immoral video of your brother that night. As he was drunk I felt no trouble. I thought it was all fun and I really enjoyed it. It was just fun for me. I really enjoyed it and everything remained normal after that night. Everyone believed that Felix had tried to take his own life as a result of the insults and pranks of his friends. It wasn't like that, it was just the fun that friends often have. The problem came when Jenny sent Felix the immoral video to get money. Felix doesn't know about it. In exchange for blackmailing him, she asked for some money. Otherwise, I will upload this video to the internet and send it to your brother as well. For this reason, Felix tried to take his own life because he belonged to a rich and famous family. He doesn't want his brother to know about it. He was quite afraid of his brother and doesn't want others to have a negative opinion of him. Even in the midst of his hardship, his brother grows angry with him because he tarnished their family reputation. Felix starts crying and Jenny after leaving the video on. After holding the bomb in Felix's hand, she leaves and gets into her car. Felix is embarrassed after watching the video. The pin of the bomb slipped out of the working finger and an explosion exploded there. Felix and his brother die in this explosion. After taking the car, Jenny drives off towards her house. This is how the movie ends. Thanks for watching.